Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help, and welcome back to another video today. If you guys like the video, make sure to smash the like button. So today's video is going to be about midterm goals for your account, whether that be a regular account, Iron Man account, any type of account that you choose to play, just some midterm goals for your account where you can consider yourself like leaving the mid of the game and entering the high higher level of the game. I'm going to be making four of these videos. I already made the beginners or the easy um, early game um, and I will leave a link in the description if you want to check that one out before you watch this one. Basically I'm just going to be going over things that I think you should get on your account or have unlocked and uh, basically little goals you can kind of set yourself to be in in the mid game and uh, what I think you should have accomplished before you know you're considered uh, getting into the higher content. Hopefully this video helps you and uh, even if it doesn't you guys can just have some goals to go for and uh, these things are very helpful for your account um, regardless so hope you guys enjoy the video. So this video I'm going to be talking about a lot of different unlocks that you can get for your account that will help you um, progress. I'm going to be focused a lot on Slayer in this video as well but there's lots of things I'm going to be talking about so we're going to be starting with Slayer. Um, making sure that you have Monkey Madness 1 complete and getting 60 attacks so that you can unlock the Dragon Scimitar. This is going to be a very useful weapon for training Slayer or just training combat in general, any of the melees in general. Um, it's also a really good weapon to train strength with because the Abyssal Whip cannot train strength. So it can be a great weapon to unlock to just, you know, get some strength experience out of the way. And uh, I used it on my Iron Man up until about 90 combat just so that I could get as much strength experience as possible um highly recommend you unlock this as soon as possible it'll just help you so much um with quest or with yeah doing quest bosses doing slayer or you know just farming if you're sitting at rock crabs or sitting at somewhere to afk having the dragon scimitar will be amazing for you until you unlock the whip however um which is at 70 attack for the whip but uh yeah you need 60 attack and um completion of monkey madness Alongside this, I recommend you getting 60 defense as well and getting yourself the Dragon Defender. Now the Dragon Defender you get from the Warriors Guild. You need to do a bunch of tokens. Get a, you have to get a bunch of tokens and then you have to go into the room and kill a bunch of the ogres until you get the drops. You get them in order of like bronze and then, you know, iron and you go all the way up to dragon it does take a long time but it is highly worth it it is a shield slot item that gives a strength bonus and you can unlock this at such a low level and it's one of the best things to use for slayer combine that with the slayer helm you'll have a lot of uh extra strength bonus for when doing slayer or just whenever doing anything in the game especially if you're using overheads while you're doing a slayer there's no need for extra defense so you might as well have um in your shield slot something that gives you strength bonus and the dragon defender if you think about it, it's a free upgrade and it is just amazing to unlock. So yeah, you need 60 defense in order to get that and you get it from the Warriors Guild. Next, I highly recommend that you unlock the Fighter Torso and the Slayer Helm. So we're going to talk about the Slayer Helm first of all. There's a... You, you're going to need 400 Slayer points, so you're going to need to complete a ton of Slayer tasks in order to get this done, which is good because you'll get a lot of your combat experience out of the way and you'll get a decently high Slayer level, a good way to start with Slayer. Um, unlocking your Slayer helmet is just very good overall for the account because um, you get the basic Slayer helm here and it provides a 15% increase to, um, I believe it's damage and accuracy. Let me just go ahead and double check that right here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, you get a 15% um, increase with melee with Slayer, which is just overall so helpful. That is only on task though. It's not going to be like off task. So it'll help you speed up your Slayer tasks like insane. And uh, overall, it will just benefit you so much to the point where you're going to be using it with every single slayer task regardless of where you are um and overall it's a decent helmet as well if you're going to use it off task i think it's like a rune helm or something like that but it's very recommended to get this um as soon as you possibly can especially if you're going to be doing tons of slayer in the future um get this unlocked as soon as possible you can later imbue it as well and this will also um make you be able to use uh range and magic with the increased as well um you're gonna need to imbue it at the nightmare zone this takes a long time and it's more i would say late game but uh if you want to get this knocked out of the way as soon as possible as well be my guest and you can also recolor the slayer helmet too with different things and stuff but that's 
probably for the late game as well and that's just really a cosmetic upgrade but in order to get the slayer helmet you will need to you know get the 400 slayer points and then you're going to need 55 crafting in order to craft it and you're going to need everything um that a slayer helmet basically has in it like a nose peg face mask all that one thing I also really like about the Slayer Helmet is for those really annoying tasks like Banshees or um, Avern Inspectors, you know, you always would forget to bring like the earmuffs or this and that, but the Slayer Helmet is all built in one and has all of those protections inside of it, so highly recommend that you unlock the Slayer Helmet as soon as possible, and you know, it looks pretty cool as well. It's a really nice looking helmet. The next one's kind of optional, but I would highly recommend it, especially if you're an Iron Man account. And overall, you're going to need to do it in the future anyways, so if you start the Barbarian Assault minigame, it does take a long time. I'm going to tell you that right now, this takes a long time. But if you can get the Fighter Torso, it is going to save you about 20 million GP. The Fighter Torso is pretty much a Bando's chest plate, minus a bit of the defense bonuses. But it is a chest plate that provides a strength bonus, and you get it from doing the Barbarian Assault minigame. I think you need 400 points in each roll. Um, don't quote me on that, but it does take a long time. I'm going to say 15 to 20 hours, um, depending on the team and depending on your knowledge of it. Um, but it is a, it is actually a pretty fun minigame when it comes down to it. Um, I'm going to have to, on my Iron Man account, get level 5 in all of the rolls. So I'm not really looking forward to that, but I'm probably going to do that after max. But uh, besides the point, uh, Barbarian Assault is a fun minigame once you get into it. It's just, it's it's a lot to learn at once and can be, you know, kind of intimidating. But once you have it, it will. it's pretty much a Bando's chest plate that requires, I think, 45 defense. So it's really good to get knocked out out of the way. And once again, it's a free upgrade. So why not get it as soon as you possibly can? This will help you with everything in the game, whether it be Slayer, you know what I mean, bossing, stuff like that very great piece of content to get out of the game as soon as possible once you have it you have it and then you won't have to buy a bando's chest plate in the future unless you know you're rich and you want that extra defense bonus the next unlock is kind of optional as well um you can get the void equipment from doing the pest control minigame um this one's a little more popular so it won't be hard to you know get into games or learn it's very easy to learn you'll learn in your first game um, you basically just go around, kill a bunch of things, kill the portals, and then you get your points. It's very easy. It does take a long time to get the full void equipment, but the void equipment is very good to have. Not so much for Slayer because you're always going to be using the Slayer helmet. And with void, you need to have all the pieces equipped for the set bonus to work. But it is very good for, you know, late game. Like, um, if you want to get it knocked out of the way, if you're just, you know, like, training AFK combat or something like that. But uh, late game is really good for bossing, like, Vorkath and stuff like that. Um, I'd highly recommend, you know, you knock it out in the mid game just so you have it. It's a really good piece of equipment to have unlocked. And uh, it takes a while, like I said, but it has three variants. So basically you buy the bottom, you buy the top, and you buy the gloves. And then there's three different helmets. There's the mage helmet, there is the range helmet, and there is the melee helmet. So it is a great option to get a pretty much a full set of armor in all three of the combat styles and then you'd only have to switch out the helmet to get the set bonus and it's free you know what I mean it just takes a long time to just knock out the um, pest control but uh, once you have it it's a free set of armor that you can use um, like I said not too much on Slayer unless you don't want to use the Slayer helmet but uh, very good piece of content to get out of the way it just takes a little bit but you'll get over it and the next upgrade I would recommend you do is get the Barrows Gloves. The Barrows Gloves are a insane achievement to get on any account. You need to complete Recipe for Disaster, all of the chapters in Recipe for Disaster, which I think you need like 180 quest points uh, or something like that. Don't quote me on that again, but I'm pretty sure it's 180 quest points, 185, something like that. I haven't done it in a long time. I'm going to be doing it on this account very soon, getting the Barrows Gloves. But you need to do a ton of quests now the reason this is good is because you're going to knock a ton of quests out of the way because there's that quest point requirement which will overall benefit your account so much like i talked about in the first video questing do as many quests as you possibly can 
I can't recommend quests enough. They unlock so many things for your account and they just overall benefit your account so much. So yeah, getting the Barrow's Gloves will be kind of like knocking two birds down with one stone because you're going to be doing so many of the quests, getting those out of the way. And for the quests, you're going to need requirements. So you're going to end up skilling and doing combat and stuff like that anyway. So it kind of all leads back into the one thing. But uh, yeah, if you set yourself a goal for Barrow's Gloves, you can slowly work towards that, chipping it off a little bit at a time. And uh, the Barrow's Gloves are the second best gloves in the game i guess they have the new hydra gloves but pretty much the best gloves in the game they provide a plus 12 strength bonus in the glove slot which is a double of the dragon defender so really good to get knocked out of the way and once again a free pair of gloves i think they cost 100k in the chest or something but they um are free you know what i mean you don't have to get them from a boss you don't have to spend a ton of money on them like a combat bracelet or the region bracelet I think is like 2 mil or something like that. These gloves are 100k. If you die with them, you can just buy them again for 100k. Very good to get unlocked. Best gloves that you pretty much can use in the entire game. And I would highly recommend you get them. And uh, overall, this will benefit your account so much. Because you'll be knocking so many quests out of the way. And um, yeah, you'll have so many quest points that you're going to be so close to getting that quest cape. Next upgrade is the Fire Cape. Um, the Fire Cape is one of the best melee capes in the entire game. You get this from defeating Jad in the fight caves. Um, Jad, let, let me tell you, Jad can be very difficult to learn, but once you have it down, it's pretty easy. If you if you um, have fought something before like Hydra, I mean mid game, I don't expect you to fight something like Hydra, but maybe Zalra for example, they have the um, Jad stage at the end. It's just getting through those like 50 whatever waves and then fighting Jad. It's it's very scary for the for people's first time getting a fire cape, but it is really worth it because fire cape is like pretty much the cape that I use all the time when I'm doing Slayer on my Iron Man account. Um, I'm pretty sure it is the best cape in the game besides the Infernal cape, obviously, and uh, that's going to be high, high, high end content. But uh, getting a fire cape as early as possible is very good. Um, you could get 70 range, get a blowpipe, and it should be a little easier. The blowpipe has that healing spec. Um, you're going to need 43 prayer as well to, um, you know, have the protection prayer. I highly recommend a higher than 43 prayer though, but um, it's definitely doable. And um, you should try to get this as soon as possible too. Um, I recommend getting all of these things really before you start grinding Slayer because in the long run, it is going to help you so much. Um, honestly, give yourself like 10, 15 attempts to do it. Um, I actually got it on my first attempt, but uh, back in the day, I probably took 10 to 15 attempts to do it. Um, but yeah, once you learn Jad, it's actually really easy. And the waves themselves are very easy. There's not too much to really think about during the waves. It's nothing like the Infernal at all. The waves are very easy. It's just very intimidating. You got to keep track of all of your supplies. But getting a fire cape will help your account so much in the long run. And I mean, it looks sick as fuck. Just like the fire cave, you can do the major arena. Um, there's also a major arena too, but I think that would be in the next video, maybe the higher tiered content. Um, getting the mage arena capes are just pretty much like fire capes for magic. Very easy to get the first two capes. Very easy. You have to complete like a mini quest and that's pretty much it. But uh, yeah, you can get the mage arena capes and then that's like I said, it's just like a fire cape for magic. Um, not the most useful thing. I would get fire cape over that. But if you use mage a lot, if you know you do something like Zalra or if you just use magic a lot during combat, you know, you might be bursting dust devils or something like that. Definitely worth getting. And if you want the mage arena two capes, you kind of have to get the mage arena one cape. Okay, I think that's enough about upgrades for now. Um, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is Achievement Diaries. You should try to knock out the Medium Achievement Diaries. Now, wh why do this? You're going to be unlocking things in all the different regions of the game. The Achievement Diary rewards are very useful, especially for doing things like herb runs or just getting around the game with the teleports. And, you know, you can unlock things like the Bone Crusher, and it's just overall so good to get your Achievement Diaries out of the way. Similar to questing, you have to kind of go out of your way to do the Achievement Diaries and get, you know, quests and get skills done at the same time. So, knocking out the Medium Achievement Diaries list will, you know, overall help the account so much. Um, get, e get you even higher levels than you would to with questing, and just make you do things that you wouldn't have planned on doing that will overall benefit your account. So, yeah, getting the Medium achievement diaries done will definitely help you um, just progress the account and get out of the mid game. 
Now, besides for Recipe for Disaster, I highly recommend you do the Quest King's Ransom. This will unlock you the Piety spell, which is a really good spell. I think you need 70 prayer in order to use it, but it is, it is um, going to help you so much for bossing. It just makes you hit so much higher, gives you so much extra defense. You're going to need 70 prayer to use it, but once you do the King's Ransom quest, you have to like kill a few guards after the quest, and then you get the Piety spell. And overall, it just helps you so much with Slayer, so much for bossing or even demi bossing with like you know doing even harder quests in the future so yeah easy to get out of the way another one you could do is desert treasure this will get you the ancient spellbook and um if you're into peking the ancient spellbook is really good but or if you know you want really fast xp you can do um bursting tasks and you know you can start doing bursting tasks with dust devils at 65 slayer and um it'll speed up the tasks just so much you'll gain so much magic xp if you know you're going for 99 magic or something like that um or if you want to just get the fastest slayer xp rates um really good to get this one out of the way it is pretty hard quest um and it takes a while too i think it takes you over an hour to complete this quest but you know the reward is a whole new spell book it is worth it you also get the blood spells which can help you with like dag kings if you're getting into like you know smaller bosses dagnoth kings um blood bursting you know it heals you it's amazing it's overall so good to get this out of the way the next thing i recommend you to do to kind of get out of the mid game is um get your first 99 um this isn't going to be like room crafting or slayer but i recommend you get something like cooking or fletching or even fire making or i, I dare you to go for the quest cape get your first like you know skill cape this will like show you that you can get a 99 and that'll motivate you to you know go for other 99s and if you do one like cooking or fletching a very fast very easy one you know you know it's possible you get that skill cape and you feel like you've you know you know what it takes to get a 99 in the game and yeah like i said just do something easy like cooking or fire making fletching um it'll show you that um it's like i said it's possible to get a 99 and it'll just show you how long it takes the xp and stuff like that and you can unlock things like um the skill cape perks like with the cooking one you'll never burn food again which can be very useful to make some side afk money Overall, when you're leaving the mid game, I think you should be able to make about 500k to a million GP an hour in a method that you choose, whether it be, you know, bossing, whether it be doing Slayer, whether that be, you know, AFK cooking or mining or something like that. Um, yeah, if you can make at least that much money per hour so that you can, you know, afford bigger and better things for the higher tier in the next video. But uh, yeah, if you, sh you should be able to make that much very easily, you know, with farm runs and things like that. Um, farm runs, bossing, slayer, you're starting to get up there where you're not quite making 2 to 3 mil an hour, but you know, you're making 500k to 1 million GP per hour, and that will help you overall so much. Have a money maker that you can consistently rely on making you that much money. And that can be something just as simple as crafting nature runes overall. But uh, yeah, I think when you're leaving the mid game, you should have a 20 mil plus bank just just a thought you know have some wealth in there in order to you know get bigger and better things and i think you should have 70 plus in all of your skills i highly recommend this because if you train all your skills at the same time you'll slowly go up there and make sure they all go up if you focus on one skill for too long you might burn out you might you not know, want to train other skills and stuff i highly recommend you train them all at once this will help you with the slow skills like rune crafting, hunter, I guess hunter's not very slow, rune crafting, you know, agility, stuff like that, slayer. It'll help you, you know, get them all up at the same time so you don't leave one behind. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did, make sure to like and I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya later.